friends, my name is Jenny and I'm the guest experience and administrative assistant at Tippett Rise Art Center, located in Fishtail, Montana. At Tippett Rise, we try to be as sustainable as possible and good stewards to our community. We recycle cardboard, plastics, aluminum, and paper regularly to help limit waste in our environment. Today, we'll learn how to upcycle some of those paper waste products to bring a second life and creative solution to recycling paper. Let's go inside the schoolhouse and learn how. For this project, you will need a large bin, a blender, towel and sponges, a pre-made box screen set, as well as some paper waste. To start this project, you wanna gather your paper waste. Now this could be um, old newspapers, it could be uh, old paper from school or a scrap paper that you're not using anymore. You're gonna want about a cup of this confetti sized piece paper waste. Then you're gonna add it to your blender with about a cup of water and just add a little bit at a time um, to get the pulp the right consistency. We don't want it too thick and we also don't want it too loose either. Once you've added your paper waste, you're gonna wanna blend until you get a nice consistency. Once you have a nice consistency to your pulp, you're ready to set up your paper making station. For this part of the project, you're gonna need your large bin filled up with just enough water to cover the entire bottom layer. You'll also need your pre-made box screen. Now you can buy these at a craft store very easily, or you can make your own if you wanna make a unique shape. You can ask an adult for some assistance, but for this project, I used a triangle frame. I just cut out a wooden frame and then I stapled my screen to the sides and I taped it to prevent my fingers from getting poked. Now you wanna begin by putting your screen in the water and then you take your pulp mixture and you pour just enough to cover the entire bottom of your screen. You don't need too much pulp. You can always add more later. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spread the pulp out so it covers the entire bottom pretty consistently. Once you have the pulp covering the entire bottom of your screen, you're gonna pick it up in the water and just kind of give it a little shake, kind of like there's pasta in a colander and you want to make sure all the water's out. Make sure you're not getting too many drips. At this point, you know, you can kind of look and see if there's part of the screen that's exposed. You can go back and kind of move your fingers around it. And you don't want too much pulp, just enough for a nice light layer. Now for this next part of the project, you're gonna lay your towels out on your table and you're gonna put your screen flat on that towel. Now you take this screen and you're placing it down and you're taking your sponge and you're soaking all that excess water out. This might take a while, so make sure you're really thorough with it. Get as much water as you possibly can. It will make it easier to transfer your paper onto your towel or whatever you wanna to use to dry the paper out. Once you get all the water out of your paper, you're putting your screen aside and then you're gonna flip your frame and give it a few taps and you're gonna tap that paper right out of there. Once your paper is released, you can remove your screen and at this point, before it's dried, you can go in and make small edits to your paper if you notice any lumps or tears that you wanna adjust. Once your upcycled art paper is dry, you can draw on it, paint on it, write on it, make it into a card, or a work of art to share with your friends and family. We hope that you've enjoyed taking your everyday waste and making it into something creative, useful, and fun. Thanks for watching. For more videos, go to our YouTube channel. For more information about Tippet Rise Art Center, go to www.tippetrise.org.